I wanted to know if animals are like Muksan Shabbos. And I once heard that if it's your own animal, then it's not Muksan Shabbos because you own it. Well, it's a, um, a very, uh, very uh, common question people ask. Uh, an animal is considered Muksa on Shabbos and Yom Tif. If it's a, of course, if it's an animal that you're allowed to eat, and Yom Tif, it's not Muksa naturally if you're allowed to slaughter it according to halacha and uh, prepare it on Yom Tif, it's not Muksa naturally. But an animal you're not allowed to eat is a pet. So uh, that uh, are uh, opinions that permit handling and touching, handling animals that are pets on Shabbos. So it's sort of a difference of opinion between the great scholars and, uh, but there are people who do handle them, have what to rely on, that there are those uh, opinions that say that if it's a pet that you have in the house all the time and you take care of it and so on, uh, doesn't mean animals, farm animals that are outside, that, but that's not a pet. We're talking about pets that are in the house, that person, uh, they're living together with the family. So there are some uh, opinions that permit uh, the handling on Shabbos. Who can I call? The